That's a frustrating draw to take. Um, right at the death, down to 10 men due to Williams' injury. I hope he's fine. That gash did look pretty bad, to be honest. But I think I think he'll be all right. But I don't want the fan base to go into a meltdown. Yes, Chelsea lost. Sheffield United lost. We failed to capitalise. But there's positives. We're still on an 18-match unbeaten streak. We probably would have closed that out quite easily if we had 11 men on the pitch. Nothing to do with us. We can't really help that. And our performance wasn't as bad as other ones where, you know, we've dropped points in the past. Southampton were up for it today and they played really, really well. Credit to them. You know, they probably deserved a draw on the balance of play. But we weren't particularly bad. Um, we weren't extremely good either. But in terms of our attacking, we were much better than we have been, um, you know, pre-Bruno. He didn't have a great game today. Neither did Greenwood. Uh, they weren't really in the game. But... We still managed to score two brilliant goals. Martial and Rashford were on form. Pogba wasn't on form today. But in the end, it wasn't really that that cost us. It was, well, it was a late corner that we just couldn't defend, unfortunately, that uh, cost us the two points. So now we are fifth, one point behind Chelsea in third. Of course, if we'd have won this, we would have been uh, third, one point above them. But it's close. They have a hard run of fixtures still, other than Norwich, which they've got tomorrow. Um, who do they play? Is it Liverpool and... Oh, I can't remember their other fixture, but it's not particularly easy. Same with Leicester. They've got a tough fixture. It's still in our hands, even though we are fifth, because we play Leicester on the final day. It's just going to be a bit more nerve-wracking now. You know, City obviously somehow swindled their way into not getting banned in Europe this season. So, top four is vital. We do have Europa League, of course, but... Yeah... I don't want the fan base to go ballistic and get really, really frustrated and annoyed and lambast the players and say we need 700 new signings and blah, 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 blah. We already know we need a couple of signings, of course. We're still unbeaten in 18. We're still the most informed team of Leicester, Chelsea and us. We, we're still, it's still in our hands to get top four. It was just a couple of silly errors. First one from Pogba. Uh, I, I, I don't think it was a smart pass from De Gea either. Like, it kind of put Pogba in pressure. But it was Pogba's mistake, of course, um, that led to the first goal from oh, bloody hell, Armstrong, I think. Uh, it, it's it's wonderful play. Um, he, 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 you know, gets the ball played into him. And, yeah, it's a fantastic finish. And, yeah, 1-0 Southampton. But this is what I, I'm quite happy with. Even though we went behind... I didn't feel like we couldn't get back into the game. Sometimes under Van Gaal, under Mourinho, certainly under Moyes, you know, in for parts under Oli, I suppose, late last season, when we weren't behind, it felt like that was it. You know, we had a mountain to climb. Whereas now, I'm I'm positive. I'm really happy about the way we're playing. I'm I'm, what's the word? Uh, I can't even think. Um, optimistic. That's the word I was searching for. I'm optimistic about our chances of finding a couple of goals. And we did. We turned it around within the space of two minutes. We had two goals. Um, the first one, it's it's great pass from Martial to play it into Rashford. And uh, Rashford, it, Rashford did score the first one, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Um, and then shortly after, Martial, uh, a, a lovely cut inside the box and a lovely finish to make it 2-1. Rashford had a goal offside, which was rightly offside. Uh, if Shaw had played the pass in slightly earlier, would have been fine. Um, yeah, Rashford's now had three offside goals since coming back. And yeah, now our forwards, I think it's 21 goals for Rashford, 21 goals for Martial and 16 for Greenwood in all competitions. Um, Greenwood and Bruno were quite quiet today. They didn't have the best of games, but it didn't really matter. That isn't what cost us. What I'm happy about as well, despite the draw, but you know when it was 2-1, is um, even though Pogba had a poor game, Bruno wasn't great, Greenwood didn't have a good game, we still had two players that were really on form in Rashford and Martial, and we'd still created chances and we got goals. Martial had one um, when it was nil-nil, one-on-one. Uh, uh, the Southampton midfielder made a, a mistake. Martial capitalised on it, but it was a brilliant save. Um, so we could have went one-nil up there. We had we had chances. We did. Rashford had one that was just wide in the uh, in the second half. I'm sure there's another chance that I just can't think of because that equalises fresh in my mind. Um, but we had chances to win that and to put that to bed. Um, oh yeah, it was a brilliant. Um, piece of play from Rashford, beats the defender, plays it into Martial, who plays it back to Rashford, and it's another stunning save. 
Um, and then there was another run from Martial where he just couldn't get the composure. He beat two, three players, and then the, the finish was, was pretty uh, poor, to be honest. But I don't want our heads to drop. We are fifth, of course we are, but there's three games left. We have a favourable run-in. We've got Palace next, who've lost five in a row. I'm confident. I really am, and I still think we're going to come third. Um, it's just, yeah, a late kick cost us right at the end. And for whatever reason, we just can't seem to capitalise when Chelsea drop points. Uh, in the same game week. I don't know what it is, but the curse will be lifted. I assure you, we will finish third. Quote this video, do what you want. It's fine. We will finish third. And then, yeah, we'll have a good go in the FA Cup and the Europa League. But let me know what you thought of the match. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.